Becky Wahlberg, and I'm I'm a professor at Seoul National University, and I'm the organizer of the Asian Youth Forum. It's the first Asian Youth Forum. The idea came up for this project in the first Pan-Asian Conference. This is the second Pan-Asian Conference and the first Asian Youth Forum. There's going to be another Asian Youth Forum two years from now that will build on the energy that has been created with this conference. Um, it's in Seoul, at the Seoul Olympic Park Tell, and there are 48 plus students participating from all over Asia. And I would like to introduce some of them to you at this time. I'm going to hand the microphone over because I haven't memorized all of their names. If you can tell us a little bit about who you are, where you're from, and why you're here. OK, thank you. Hello, my name is Chika. I'm from Miyazaki in Japan. I came here because I was interested in the history of Korea and Korean people and wanted to meet as many people as I can, especially Asian people. And fortunately, I could meet, all, meet, meet people also from Europe. Yeah, I was very really lucky to be here. Hello, uh, my name is Jenny Dahlgren and I come from Sweden. I travel with an organization called Up With People and we are eight people from Up With People here for a study group in Korea and we got the opportunity to be part of this conference which I am very happy for and we have got to meet people from all over the world and it's been very interesting so thank you very much. Hi, my name is Yi Megan. I'm from here, Korea. I'm going to Joseon University in Gwangju in South Korea in Korea. Well, uh, one of my professors, foreign professors, recommended here yeah, that he gave me some information about this homepage. So I, che I checked this homepage and then I was really surprised that that's what I really want because I don't have uh, many chances to go abroad yet. So this is a really great chance to me to communicate the other country students. So that's what I like and then I'm, I'm enjoying now, really. Hi, my name is Eto Sudo. I'm from Japan at the College, Tokyo. Uh, I came here because I'm interested in uh, language teaching. And also, I'm learning to be a teacher, but I don't want to be a just boring teacher. So <laughs> I came here to see a lot of things and how the language teaching in Asian countries. Thank you. Hi, my name is Rie Okabe. Okabe. I'm from Miyazaki International College and with Chika. And my teacher encouraged to me to get here to learn something about Asia and I'm really interested in the inter international intercultural communication and my teacher also encouraged to me to film this Asian Youth Forum so I was really excited. Hello, my name is Kim Min Jung. I'm from Korea, Daegu, not Seoul. And my, now I'm Daegu National University of Education third year student. My major is Korean elementary teaching, So, but I like English because English is very interesting language. And it's also relation my t teaching my Korean. And I joined this AYF um, before, before August, yeah, that be August time. And I joined this, I decided this about, I don't know where because how many people come here, what kind of programs, how many, what kind of pro professor, and what kind of conference. But I decided about that this is very good chance for, because four days only used for English. And I'm Korean, so many times I use just Korean, but this program is only necessarily for use English. So I decided to join here and many, many worldwide people, international and many kind of world experience. So it's very good for chance for me. And I'm really enjoy with this, this AYF forum. Next time, I'll, I must join here. You've had several days amongst teachers in Asia and from all over Asia. What is it that you would like teachers to know about the hearts, the minds, the thoughts of students, you, the language learner, what would you like them to know? If you could tell any teacher anything you wanted, what would you tell them? Um, I'd like to say thank you for my teachers for being very tolerant <laughs> and very kind. Yeah. So what I can say, I feel very happy when pe teachers give me example when I got new words, it's very helpful. I like it. Um, well, uh, I myself know um, three languages, Swedish, German, and English. 
and well, uh, I study languages, and I think the most important thing for teachers to know is um, to, as she said, have a lot of um, examples and patience and yeah, and just have fun and have a lot of um, lessons that you get to practice a lot of talking. Well, I think our Korean teachers are too much focusing on the theory. I want to the teachers make students practice a lot, not the only theory. And uh, they have to encourage students to practice some in spoken English, something like that. Um, personally, um, I want the teachers to come clo come closer to the student culture and know about their culture culture and also the language so that they know why uh, we have a difficulty in a learning language especially in Korea Japanese structure different and also I'd like them to stay longer so that they know about us um, better and also um, if they just stay short time and they do just um, whatever that uh, they get in their country like American way or Canadian way but it's better to mix together with Asian style and that that's helpful for students. I think our teachers focus on the grammar and structure. So I want I want the teacher to give me some speaking practice and it will be help to communicate with other country people. Uh, I think a teacher must be humorous because humorous is having fun. It's very easy to learn in other country languages. And students want about humorous classes, speaking, listening, reading. Also, reading is about just hard novel and traditional is not good. Kind of humorous story and short story use that is very easy. Student wants about having fun with another languages. So teacher must have humorous and so much experience. time among teachers at a teacher's conference, has your point of view or perspective concerning teachers changed at all? Can you tell me about that, please, a little bit? When I was in the panel discussion with her, I was very nervous at first, and I really tried to say what I really wanted to say. And after my presentation, I was very, very, I think she was also very happy to be able to meet teachers and they came to us personally and asked some questions and gave us comments like, I was very glad to hear you. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I was very happy at that time and I felt I was maybe this conference was very meaningful for me to be here. Well, um, I'm very happy to be able to meet uh, teachers from uh, around the world and who are teaching here in Korea and Japan also and um, yeah it's been a great experience and I don't know if I've changed so much how I look at teachers um, but it's yeah it's been very interesting to be here. Well actually I gave a presentation about the learning language in Asian country so after I finished my presentation, many foreign teachers wanted to know wanted to know what's the real problem in Korea. So I explained about it, but they they feel it, what the problem is is already, but they cannot change it rapidly. So I recommend some. They can make some extra curriculum activity. They can make uh, some club activity, and they can encourage students speak speak by themselves. So. Yeah, after I, present, I finished my presentation to foreign teachers who are working in, in my country, Korea, they asked me about it and that they understand myself. So they wanted to uh, keep in touch with me through their email. So I was really happy to read those of things. Uh, I just cannot for, uh, forget how they look like when we are sharing about our situation in the presentation. They are so serious and eager to hear our comment. And I really uh, like the idea that the te student can share what we feel. Usually we cannot do that in a classroom, but I think it should be in a classroom in, classroom in a just regular way, not just in a conference, but 
teacher can ask students how they feel about their class and what, how they can improve the class uh, from the student perspective. So I, th I want to encourage teachers to ask students feeling or th thought in a school life, not just in a conference, but in a daily things. It's very valuable to cooperate uh, to make a better class and a better English uh, learning for teachers and also you know, for students. As she said, yeah, it's hard to share idea between the teacher and students. So it's it's a great great chance to share and exchange opinion between the teacher and student. So I think, yeah, uh, as uh, let's see. Uh, teacher is kind of big parents without any many students. So teacher must care for all students, all all point of view. Also teachers about maybe teacher share the experience with the students and teacher care like that. And teacher must like all students. And so students like a teacher and teacher uh, share the language. It means about okay experience and another kind of many adventure. Yeah, learning the language is kind of adventure. The teacher able to okay more more having fun in the classes and still more care the students. So students about respectable teacher and teacher. Okay, if I may become a teacher, maybe I'm a very kind of humorous teacher. <laughs> I think so. New insights have you gained from the, your experience as an Asian Youth Forum participant? I'd like to hear some of you talk about that. And um, to wrap up, what would you like to tell others about those thinking about joining the Asian Youth Forum two years from now in Kita Kyushu? Okay. Mm -hmm. I stay with um, some Japanese boys, and I stay with and I many conversation with many Japan people and with uh, about another European people, American, another, another East European, or some people I use uh, or South African family. I use that conversation, and I have many questions about that, is, and because I have many curious for another cross cultural like that. This is many point and very wonder for another another countries, another countries language and culture. So I ask many times, and they are mostly very glad to this, very glad to think about my question and very kindly answer to me. So I ask that sometimes if about embrace and not good question exist, but most of they are just kind and about the good answer. And he also good question to me. So I explain my Korea and I heard about explain that country. So I think about yes, um, before here. I have some projects about Japan because Japan is invaded my country a few years ago, and so a little kind of a not good point of that. I think Japan, but Japan people is very kind. He is sincerely and really kind. That they like about international people, and also I like international people. And I think just use English is mean about all people. Use the English union, so it's very good conversation with other people. Just we call use English, so we are kind of. Yeah, all over the world, we are friends. First, I didn't know much about Korean before get here, but when I saw many Korean stu Korean friends here, um, I thought they are very friendly and they are very interested about Japan, and we are very good friends. So I want to say that this Asian Youth Forum is good to be good good chance to be a uh, international person i would say me i meet many con many people from other countries and we have very good time so it's a yeah it's really a good time for me what i realized um from this conference i know there is cer certain stereotypes that even i don't know i don't notice myself but Sometimes we think, oh, because she's Japanese, such as such, or because people from Korea have this kind of um, character or from America, from Europe. But uh, more I get to know the person the, in a personal way, I, uh, I notice there is uh, 
something more than just American, just Japanese, just Korean, but something individual difference and which makes us to close and more understanding to 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 know about not only culture but the personal thing and we can we can be a friends. So uh, this is where I notice and I'm very happy to get to know about that. Yeah, like Shirley, this is the first time to meet uh, Japanese friends in person. So I also had a very different and uh, some, some, some difficult, some different. How can I say? It's very hard to say in the wrong way. In the I mean, the relationship with Japan and Korea. So I was the one of the person who have uh, some kind of uh, anti-Japanese feelings. Well, really. So, but you know, I had a lot of chance to. Communicate and to speak to them about our real problem, you know. But the problem is media and some history books and the teachers and some older generation. So while I'm talking about about the topics that I felt is the our universal feelings that I have, they are also the younger generation, and so I felt that is we are the we are the people who can change the. Future history in the 21st century, I think. Um, along what the others saying here, this has been a great opportunity to meet people from Asia and and Europe, United States, and um, I'm very very happy that I have been part of this, and I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, and also uh, see the differences between uh, Japan and Korea. I'm going to Japan tomorrow, and it's going to be very exciting to um, to see yeah the differences and how people are and what is also similar. So well, thank you very much, and I have really enjoyed it here in Korea. Thank you. Yeah. The time I was really interested in Korea, the first time was in New Zealand, as I said in the presentation. I met some Koreans in New Zealand, and they talked about the history, which I didn't know. I didn't study at school, and I was really shocked. And I started studying by myself, researched and about Korean War, the Japanese occupation, annexation, and I came here to talk with Korean students. And actually, I could have some time to talk with them. And at host family, I was very, very lucky to be able to meet them, and I talked about it at the last night, drinking wine, <laughs> and said that I really want to learn something about Korea. Um, they said they had really actually had some bad feeling about Japan before, <laughs> and the host, can I say host brother? He also had really bad feeling about Japan before, <laughs> and he went to Japan. He came back and he found out that what he had before was not really reality was different. And yeah, I think by learning the Korean history, I mean Japan and the Korean relationship history, maybe we can suggest to the other world that how can we be good companion in the future, and how can we stop fighting or how can we. Wipe away all the prejudices. Yes, that's what I feel now. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just glad that I've had an opportunity to be a part of the Asian Youth Forum, and I look forward to adding and building on to this project. And I've been asked to uh, help with the next Pac-2 in Japan. I didn't think I'd ever say yes, but now I'm very excited about <laughs> doing it again. <laughs> oh, so I've been very, very, very blessed by being able to put this together and to see the results. And I thank you very, very much for attending and the sacrifice it was for many of you girls. And I know especially you, the Japanese worked very, very hard and saved money and took extra jobs just to attend. And your extra hard work and your extra fees helped um, provide the opportunity for others to come. And that, too, was a part, if I can say something about that now. We asked the Japanese students to pay more so that some of the other Asian students could participate who weren't able to pay more. And tonight at the closing ceremony, I have some very nice and surprising things to say. I think you'll be very pleased because of your hard work and uh, because of the success of the program of this first Asian Youth Forum. So I thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice.